again. I wanted to get out and uh, do a little plinking, test out this new, uh, another new one that I picked up uh, last week. Uh, just got done cleaning it up today on my lunch break. <laughs> um, so this is uh, the second half of a little package deal that I picked up for uh, pretty cheap. Um, if you guys are ever in Syracuse, uh, there's a lot of good gun shops around here, but uh, you want to go and uh, check out Butternut Sports. Um, they got neat old stuff like this, just places like a museum, but uh, they're selling stuff, not like a museum doesn't sell stuff. <laughs> so anyway, um, this old timer here is a uh, uh, Savage Model 23A, also called the Sporter. Um, <clears throat> very much like a Savage NRA, but uh, like the name implies, it's got a sporter type of stock on it. Um, so this one uh, came with a Mossberg scope on it. Um, and, uh, I have every intention to, uh, it also has a, a Redfield peep sight base on here. And then it has the, uh, the Lyman uh, 17A, which was a factory option, orderable option. Um, so, I really like to get this guy going uh, with peep sights, I think, for uh, for target shooting. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like shooting with the old scopes too, but I've got plenty of guns with the little scopes on them and stuff, so I like to have these some of these with their old, uh, the way they were intended to be back. And well, this one was probably made in the mid to late 20s, uh, from what I'm finding with the serial number that's on it. <clears throat> um, like the other one that I showed you guys in the video with the uh, NRA matches, um, this one came with an aftermarket uh, magazine. Maybe one day I'll find some uh, affordable ones that I can uh, put into those and have them be original there though. But uh, I already did some shots off camera here, um, just sighting the thing in. I got it dialed in pretty good. I'm not going to mess with it anymore because, like I said, I want to uh, get the peep sight on there anyway. So, um, but I just wanted to uh, check it for accuracy and, and make sure it was uh, actually doing, uh, you know, halfway decent before I went and spent um, a good bit of money to get the rest of the pieces for this peep sight. Um, From what I see online, uh, well, it's, it's called a Redfield uh, Model 102. Actually, this could be the base for a 102 or a 100, um, which the 100 is actually the micrometer click uh, adjustment, and the 102, uh, you loosen it, and there's a little set screw you got to turn with a screwdriver. So. Um, Hopefully I can find a 100, but they're not giving those away. The 102s are a lot more uh, affordable, so I'll probably end up finding one of those. But uh, um, <clears throat> It's a pretty cool gun. I think actually out of the two of the ones that I bought, uh, this is actually the, the cleaner of the two. Um, it uh, obviously has been drilled and tapped for a scope, but uh, I'll... Uh, plug those holes up with, uh, you know, I've got plug screws, so I'll plug those up uh, when I do find the peep sight. And uh, it won't be perfect, but it'll be nice. It'll be a nice gun to uh, take out and plink. Um, <laughs> bugs flying around here. Um, but I don't want to make this one a hour long video like I had from last night's video, so. Um, Again, I'm just shooting target out here at about 30 yards. Um, it uh, seems to be grouping pretty good. Um, shot uh, five shots off camera at one of those little three inch circles and I had uh, four of the bullets were touching and one was down a little bit, so it's probably just me, but um, this, one, uh, this one has the same bolt as my newer NRA match that I had in the video from last night uh, that, was, that was actually light striking, but I haven't had any problems with this one yet, so I might uh, have to compare notes on these two and see what uh, is different about this one than the other one and uh, 
see if uh, see if I can make that other one work a little better. But uh, this one has a nice trigger too. Um, no creep. Pretty light. Pretty nice. Probably out of the three. Out of the three that, between the two NRAs and, and this one, I'd say this one's got the best trigger so far. Um, the, uh, the, uh, the NRA with the peep sight that I have is not a bad trigger at all. The NRA I have that has the, uh, the scope on it, the newer one that I just got last week along with this one. The trigger's pretty, pretty heavy and muddy on that one. I'm gonna have to take that one back out of the stock and probably do some cleaning up on it and see if it's adjustable. I think it is. Um, That's it. All right, so I'll take you out there and show you the target now. All righty, friends. Here we go. Um, so here's the uh, two two bullseyes that I was shooting at with that uh, Savage Model 23A. So this one down here was the one I shot off camera. Like I said, I had four bullets up here, pretty much all touching, and then I had one just down a little bit. Still not too bad. Um, I don't even know. You know what? That one wasn't. So if you can see, uh, that one was already there. I didn't. I must have forgot to paste, paste that one up. So that was a hole that was already there. So actually, all five of my bullets are right there. You can see behind here. There's no hole down low there uh, where that would have went through. So that's even better. Uh, and then up top here, uh, very similar results. Uh, one big ragged hole, and then just one up, up to the upper right there. That's just a quarter inch away. So. Looks like I got another shooter, so I uh, doing pretty good there. Uh, so back to the video. So I shot another one quick off camera with my uh, Gecko rifle. And, uh, here's what I found uh, that be a great group in that one as well. So um, yeah, this was a pretty good, pretty good package deal. Um, Pretty much paid less for both of these together um, than usually you would see just one Savage Generary match. So um, they're not in, not in perfect condition. They got some holes drilled in them and stuff, but uh, you know they're they're not in bad shape for what they are. Um, for as old as they are too, um, <clears throat> definitely cool old rifles. But uh, um, so this one. Uh, like I said, probably I haven't been able to find a real good list of serial numbers yet, but uh, this one's probably made in the mid to late 20s. Um, the, uh, the NRA matches that I showed, one was, I believe, a real early one, so it'd be around 1919, and then the other one was not too much higher in serial number, so I believe that one would be, uh, you know, early 20s. Um, so. Um, Want to look around, and uh, I've seen some on eBay. I just haven't pulled the trigger on getting those yet for the uh, S or not S, the the one Redfield 102 site. Um, we'll get that on there, and uh, probably do a follow-up video once I get that, and uh, um, see what we can do as far as target shooting with the, with the peep sight and the uh, Lyman. Um, I have the uh, Lee Shaver. Uh, sight cards for the 17A, so um, 
<clears throat> once I get into shooting these a little bit more, uh, I'll probably uh, change out that. It's got that real big heavy circle up there, so it's tough to tough to real get a good sight picture uh, with that one. I like the uh, the Lee Shaver cards are a lot finer and a lot easier to uh, get a good sight picture with. So anyway, I don't want to take this one up too long, but uh, hope you enjoyed this video and. Uh, if you, uh, if you did, give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel and you'll get uh, notified when I do put up new videos. And uh, besides that, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a good day. We'll see you on the next video.